and welcome back to another video on this channel so today i'm going to be doing a unboxing for the freya's cauldron box the june month box so we are already a ridiculously quick fast way through the year i just cannot believe how fast things are going um i feel like it was february not that long ago and now we're in june and it's summer and yeah it's um quite crazy um but anyway <laughs> this is the box so it just comes with the logo on the front of it um it never used to but it has done more recently now um i don't really mind there being a logo on it um i suppose before it was a little bit more discreet um in like your recycling but it's not too bad um but i quite like the logo on there anyway but just just opens up like this and then we have all of that information on the top so you've got a little bit of information about the subscriber shop um, so they've reopened the subscriber shop um, so you can purchase past box items that you might have missed it will be open until the 30th of June where it will close permanently so the subscriber shop was something that they started to basically allow people to get um, collections from previous boxes um, if they've um, missed any, um, if they've started halfway through a collection. Um, I didn't realise that they'd actually closed it originally anyway but it's going to close permanently at the end of this month so that's um, that's um, good to know and also they give you 10% off um for current subscribers so i'm not going to share that because you might not be a current subscriber um the next thing we have is the list of actual um products that we have in the box there which um this month is all about solar power and the summer solstice and luther which is really interesting so the first thing that we get is the envelope with the Book of Shadows pages in here. So we have all of our information in here. So this is kind of what is in the box really in a bit more detail I think. So we've got a solar power oil. Um, candles, herb jar, so the month that we've got, um, the, the herb jar that we have in this month, sorry my brain is not functioning and I've just realised I've been sitting at the bottom of the corner of the camera. Um, the crystal um, which is also listed here, so basically just the information for what we actually have in the box in a bit more detail. And then we have the information sheets, again for the crystal, so a larger Book of Shadows style sheet. Um, some sun correspondences on that one. And then a significant, sig yeah, significant solar. I'm not sure if I'm missing something um, with that, but I think it's like things to do with the sun, so dawn, midday, sunset, and the deities to do with the sun. Is that one? I'm probably just being stupid and not understanding what it's on about, but never mind. Um, so the first item that we have in the box is in this envelope, and it is a altar tile which is a solar power one, um, this one. Um, we do have ones of like the sabbats and things like that. So I think I do have a sol summer solstice one. I need to see if I can find it because um, I've just remembered that I am supposed to have that somewhere. But um, they're quite nice to colour in if you want to colour in with pens, these ones, or you can just use them plain. So we have something else in here. This looks like a notebook maybe. Yeah, a notebook. Um, I quite like the design on the notebook. 
but I'm not necessarily that bothered about notebooks in all honesty, it's just a plain one. Um, I mean I suppose they're handy but I have quite a lot of notebooks but it will come in. Um, I like the design of it but I'm not, not as bothered about that one in fairness. Um, we have our rituals, so we've got the Litha, or Litha drawing down Sorry, there was just a siren, but I didn't. I couldn't figure out what it was at first, but it was just a siren. Um, but this is the drawing down the sun ritual in here. Let's see what's actually in it. Okay, so we have a herb pouch and a red candle. So this is best to be done on the summer solstice when the sun is at its highest point. Um, which is just them. And then it's just got like your information on the back there about it. You probably can't see it, but um, yeah, it's just a drawing down the sun ritual to do on the summer solstice, which is quite a nice. Um, nice ritual to be doing. I do quite like the rituals they do on in this box. They are quite nice. The next one is a sunrise and sunset ritual. So we've got two rituals in this box. So this has, oh, oh god, shit, sorry. Um, two candles, so an orange and a blue. And a chamomile tea. So this is actually given dates as the best time to do this. It's got like the sunrises and sunset times at he on here. Um, but this is a sunrise spell for mental well-being. So you need an orange candle and lemon infused water. Why have I got camera? Oh. Okay. Right, that makes more sense now. It's double sided this. So there's a sunrise spell for mental well-being, which you need an orange candle and lemon infused water. So we're gonna need to get a lemon for this. Um, but this is to be done just before sunrise. Um, and then there is the sunset spell for mental well-being, which uses a blue candle and chamomile tea. So it's like your evening ritual, which I quite like the idea of that. I do like evening rituals, so this seems like a nice one. So I do like that mental, um, like well-being rituals are my kind of rituals, definitely. So definitely a fan of that one. The next thing we've got is a herb blend. So we have the Solar Power Herb Blend. I quite like the herb blends, but I do miss the individual herbs. Sometimes it's nice just to work with an actual individual herb. So I do hope we get those back um, where you just have that individual herb to work with um, because I like the blends, but then you don't really know what's actually in them. So if you want to connect to an individual like flower or plant within there, like you don't necessarily will always know what it is, um, especially in dried form. I, um, I'm very bad at identifying herbs um, anyway, um, especially when they're dry. So um, I have no idea what's in there. I think it might have some rose in there and I can see that it's got some um, calendula in there or marigold in there. Um, but otherwise I could not tell you. Um, the next thing we have in here is the crystal. So the crystal will always come in like a little pouch normally and it is a sunstone crystal. I think I do have a very small piece of sunstone but I think I only have the one. Um, so it's nice to have another one in my collection. Um, it's quite a nice piece of one and I've just dropped it. I think it's okay. Um, the next thing we have is some candles. So we only have three candles in the actual bag which I'm assuming because we've got the three otherwise, but we normally do get more. I think we normally either get five or six candles, um, but we've only got three 
in this leather pouch, or at least I only have three. Maybe some are missing. Um, but we've got some purple, so a lighter, like a lilac, purple, and a white. Um, I'm assuming the other candles maybe are because they're in the rituals, they've only given us three. But I think normally they usually give more, even though they are in rituals. But I don't know, doesn't matter anyway. There's three. <laughs> um, and um, the next item that we have is um, a normal one that we normally get in is an oil um, and that is the solar power candle dressing oil um, these are really nice um, I have quite a few of these now and they do last a really long time because you only need a very very small amount so you can use these kind of time and time again so I do really like these um, and I like that they're all in the same kind of shape bottle and everything all sits very nicely together in a little um, kind of chest um, if you keep them in a chest I keep mine in like a little tin um, and they sell really nicely in there but um, I've got so many of these now but I really like them and nine times out of ten they smell really nice I don't know what this one's gonna smell like I recognise the scent but I can't actually pinpoint what they are but it smells nice I like it um, did that I was gonna say we had an information sheet did that actually tell us about the crystal not the oil so it tells about the oil as well. oh yeah it does it's right at the top um, our own exclusive range of candle dressing oils are perfect for adding energy to your spell work Simply dress your candle and it's ready to use. By dressings we mean it's... okay. I think it's just telling you how to use it, it's not actually saying anything of what's in there. No, it's just saying how to use the candle dressing oil, um, not actually what's in it. It'd be nice just to say like top notes or whatever, like just... Like, I don't know, it's got citrus in there or it's got orange in there, I don't know if it has got that in, but it'd be nice just to have a little bit of an idea, not necessarily everything, because I'm assuming they don't want you to make it yourself, they want you to be able to repurchase it from them, but it'd be nice just to have an idea of what is actually in it. Um, but, hold on. The next item that we have is the incense cones, and it's solar power incense cones. Um, I'm not sure what these will smell like. Um, oh God. <laughs> they're not what I was expecting them to smell like they remind me of something but it's like a lemony like soap smell I think that's what it is It's, I think it's meant to be like a lemon or citrus scent, but it reminds me, it's not soap actually, I thought it was a soap that um, my mum used to use when we were younger, but it actually smells like this detangling spray that my mum used to have when we were kids, which is weird, but that's what it smells like to me, <laughs> but I think it's meant to be like a lemony and possibly it did have a lemon smell to it, I don't know. But they smell alright, um, I don't usually use incense cones that often, um, so I probably am going to take a while to get through these because like I say I don't reach for them that often. Um, and then the very last item that we have in the box is this, which I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's like a chalice maybe, but I could be wrong. Um, could be wrong. Oh god, I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh yes, it is a chalice. Ooh. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got like engravings of the uh, goddess with the sun on there. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Oh, 
Okay, so that is everything from the Freya's Cauldron box for June. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video and um, I look forward to putting more content up in the not too distant future. Um, all the information about prices and anything like that to do with Freya's Cauldron will be in the information box. Any more information to do with myself is also in the information box below as well. Um, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, anything like that, all my links are in the information box below. And um, like I say, thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you in a video in the not too distant future. Bye for now.